Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today, we celebrate the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Please join me in giving thanks to God for the men and women of our diocese currently in formation for the priesthood or the consecrated life, and in praying that Christ will touch the hearts of those He is calling to follow Him, and so provide priests and religious to serve here in our diocese. In his message for World Day of Prayer for Vocations, Pope Francis repeated his message from World Youth Day by saying, Rise up, let us awaken from sleep, let us leave indifference behind, let us open the doors of the prison in which we so often enclose ourselves, so that each of us can discover his or her proper vocation in the church and in the world, and become a pilgrim of hope and a builder of peace. Let us be passionate about life and commit ourselves to caring lovingly for those around us in every place where we live. This year, I will have the grace of ordaining four new priests and three transitional deacons for the Diocese of Harrisburg. These men will be a great blessing for our diocese. But as our Holy Father said, we all need to rise up. The work of promoting vocations falls to all Catholics. And so on this World Day of Prayer for Vocations, I encourage you to be bold and ask young men and women in your lives whom you might think could have a vocation, if they've ever considered a religious vocation. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we're called to greatness in our witness to the faith and in our commitment to God's call in our lives. I ask your prayers, especially for those men and women in our diocese who are discerning a call to the priesthood or consecrated life. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, may we all live out our vocation every day and so give glory to God. God bless you.